Hello and welcome to the history of Stargate SG-1. Today's episode, the Asgard Freyer. And here we go. Freyer is a member of the advanced Asgard race and has a position on the Asgard High Council. In 2001, SG-1 first encountered Freyer on Katao, whose inhabitants worshipped Freyr as their god, just as Chimeras worshipped Thor. SG-1 used Katao's equivalent of the Hall of Thor's might to contact Freyr, so they could discuss repairing the damage to the Katao sun. Freyr was generally personable when meeting with SG-1, but was distressed upon learning the damage they caused, and arranged for Colonel Jack O'Neill to address the Asgard High Council on the matter. 2002 Freyr is mentioned again when SG-1 meets the Asgard High Council about an Aquadria asteroid threatening Earth. Freyr and the rest of the Asgard High Council cannot intervene because of the Protected Planets Treaty does not allow them to protect against natural disasters. A frustrated Colonel Jack O'Neill then made some inappropriate references to Freyr's mother. Later that year, Freyr visited Earth personally to ask SG-1 to help rescue Himnal and her research materials. He also informed them that Thor was missing in action over Hemdal's planet. By this point, SG-1 was able to recognize him by sight. At the climax of the rescue mission, Freyr commanded the Asgard fleet, which confronted Anubis's mothership, saving SG-1, Hemnal, and the Supreme Commander Thor. In 2006, in order to determine whether or not the Asgard will grant all knowledge and technology to the Tari, Thor sends Asgard engineer Hemnal to oversee the humans in action under immediate threat and report back to the High Council. Freyr is one of only four High Council members well enough to attend and sits silently as Thor, the Chief Archon, and Hemnal discuss the issues with Hemnal's support of humanity ultimately swaying the High Council into going forward with the plan. 2007. Presumably, Freyr was with the rest of the Asgard when they destroyed their planet in an act of mass suicide. Hey, thank you for watching the history of Stargate. Have a great day. Goodbye.